Ms. Help us if they're here for another three years. Uh, Deputy Speaker, the Australian government is committed to jobs and growth in Queensland. In my home state of Queensland, Labor came into office with no plan and they've proven themselves to be absolutely hopeless. What is their solution to the economic job crisis hitting Queensland? It's to impose an ill-conceived freeze on infrastructure until they can work out what they're doing and how they're going to pay for it. The business community in Queensland is crying out for action from Labor, yet Queensland Labor, just like their federal colleagues, seems incapable of anything. Premier Palaszczuk says, let's talk, and the business community say, please act, but it falls on deaf ears. All Queensland Labor government's been able to muster is 60 reviews in seven months. That's roughly two reviews a week. No plan no idea and no policies. Thanks to Labor, unemployment is on the rise in Queensland. In fact, seasonally adjusted unemployment in Queensland increased by 0.4 percentage points, and Queensland's unemployment rate continues to be above the national average on both measures. Here are some unacceptable facts. Fact one, under Labor, Queensland lost almost 22,000 full-time jobs in July alone, more than any other state. Fact two, Queensland has less full-time jobs than in February when Labor was elected. And fact three, 10,000 Queenslanders joined the unemployment queue last month. And lastly, fact four, Queensland's unemployment rate is 6.3 per cent, the third highest in the country. No amount of spin from Premier Palaszczuk can change these figures. She's out of her depth and she's not up to the job. Queenslanders certainly did not vote for this. Deputy Speaker, Queensland desperately needs a government with a plan to develop job-creating projects, major projects like the Adami Carmichael project, which will create jobs and drive economic growth for the people of Queensland. What is interesting, Deputy Speaker, and bizarrely, that in contrast to Bill Shorten and the Greens, Queensland Labor says that it recognises the value of major projects like this. In the Courier Mail on 5 August this year, Queensland Labor Minister for Mines, Anthony Lynham, stated, We, like the people of Queensland and central Queensland, want this mine to go ahead. Mr Lynham also told the Australian Financial Review on 9 August this year that the Queensland government was, and I quote, doing everything in their power to prioritise approvals and have sent the environmental impact statement on Abbott Point expansion to the federal government. The Palaszczuk government supports the sustainable development of the Galilee Basin because we want jobs and economic development for Queensland. On 31 August this year, the Courier Mail reported Queensland Labor Minister for Environment and Heritage Protection and the Minister for National Parks and the Reef, Dr Stephen Miles, he told the Queensland Labor State Conference that Labor did not want to be the party that jolts the economy through a crackdown on coal. He specifically said, we can mine coal in Queensland, where we have the highest mine safety record in the world. We mine coal with um, environmental rigour. We mine coal that's efficient and economic to burn. Uh, if we don't allow this to go ahead, coal is one of the most prolific minerals on the earth. There are many sources of coal, but none as good as the coal mine here. We are not going to be the party that jolts the economy by closing down coal without a transition that adequately shifts the economy and takes workers with us. Deputy Speaker, my challenge tonight to the Palaszczuk Labor government is this. Talk is very, very cheap. Act. Get on with it. The business community in Queensland want you to act. Jobs depend on it. The economy depends on it. Get Bill Shorten and your federal Labor mates on board and work constructively with the federal coalition government to make sure that we have the jobs in Queensland that tens of thousands of young people the 30,000 businesses in my electorate crave the economy to expand and get on with doing the job that you were elected to do.